Hello, good evening. Today is a full moon. It's the last full moon of 2018. And it's a special full moon because it's gonna be up in the sky at the longest night of the year. So it's going to be shining for about 15 hours. It's up there. Yes. That's the full moon. Yes. Beautiful moon, full moon. Um, let me show you again. Let's see if I manage a better. Yes. <laughs> you are very, it was very special full moon and solstice, solstice also. Because today is the first day of the winter. It's a solstice full moon. So there is a lot of specialities on this full moon this time of the year. Um, I light this candle yesterday for the solstice uh, transition and it's still burning, yeah, 24 hours already, just to commemorate the, you know, beginning of the winter and uh, this candle mean hope that um, the spring will come very soon again and uh, my trees that is completely naked right now all of them here it's gonna be full again of leaves when the spring come up so this candle is it's like um, a promise of future of tomorrow. It's fantastic. So tonight, let's meditate in something very special. I want to remind you to let go everything that is not serving you anymore. Just let go of everything that is, you know, overdue. <laughs> Sometimes you have lots of overdue stuff in our lives that you, you tend to postpone, you know, they let go. We tend to attach to it when they don't serve us anymore. So what I am asking you now, let go everything, you know, just let go and embrace the new, overcome the new. And it will come, beautiful things in your life will come. Okay? <laughs> yes. Let's embrace the new, let's Embrace it in happiness and uh, in grace. And let's continue with our journey. Another winter. You are very lucky because you're still here for another winter. And then you're going to be here for another spring, another summer. Another autumn and another winter. <laughs> yes, it's the wheel of fortune. Yes, it's a cycle. Everything comes and goes, comes and goes. We're going to remain here forever. Yes, we are. For a long time yet. Because I don't think we are ready. We're still not ready for 
the fifth or sixth dimension, you, you have a lot to walk. You have a lot to do. A lot of things is still, you know, to be overcome and to be worked out. So, just let's take every step as it comes, you know. Let's be grateful. Let's be happy. Let's sing and chant and play both and play drums and play guitars and play piano and harp and whatever. You know, just let's make this earth a paradise when we're here. Let's teach the youngest to be like this also. Our children, our grandchildren, so they can embrace the beauty of being alive in this planet because heaven and hell is here. If you want to have heaven, yes, just see it. Yeah, throw happiness, throw, you know, love and kindness and the charity around you. And if you want to hell, well, <laughs> Just go out of the streets and then you would see hell. I saw it today. I saw it today with two of my grandsons, the oldest ones. <sighs> yeah, there is a lot of suffering around this planet. A lot of suffering in London. And uh, I took my grandchildren today to see a little of it so they can be grateful for whatever they have got here. So my dears, let's embrace the new. Let's take this moment of transition. Yes, and uh, have your, our heart, you know, open to the new, open to the challenges that is going to come tomorrow open to the to the excitement of the next step because our life is made of steps um, every day you have a new step to do a new step to take and uh, do you know what I'm going to ask this year the only thing I'm asking you today and from yesterday, actually, I'm asking is wisdom. I want to have wisdom. I don't need anything else. Because if I have wisdom, I would know how to handle any single situation, any single challenge. I would know how to make the right decisions. So let's make this our wish for next year, wisdom. Wisdom, wisdom. First, let me tell you something. Our New Year's Eve and the New Year's itself is going to be a winning moon, okay? It's going to be the moon that is you know, going. It's a is a decrescent moon. <laughs> so it's a time to let go whatever you don't want anymore. It's a time for you to say, okay, I don't need this anymore. Just take it with you, moon. Take it with you to nothingness. You know, any sadness, any, any loss, any, any lack of anything, if you are lack of money, lack of love, a lack of everything, that's the moment for you to say, okay, take everything with you, moon, take this. This is, an, is the end of a year, is an end of a cycle of losing and embrace the new on the, the first day of the year, okay? Even the first day of the year is going to be a negative one also. 
and take opportunity to say, okay, take all my negativity out and step in the ear with positive thoughts, okay? But let's take this opportunity of the winning moon and take advantage of this moment, yes? In the weaker, this is a time for us when you, you want to make something go of our life, okay? If you have something that has to be, you know, take off of you, you know, put in your bag, throw away, you know, everything that you don't want anymore is a moment for you to say, okay. So this type of the, this type of the cycle of the moon is a time of let go, you know, take it off. So let's take this opportunity because it's going to be the same day of the new, the, the, the 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 eve of the new year so at 31st of december take the opportunity to say let go everything take off my life everything that i don't want anymore sadness weakness uh um you know sickness yeah lack of love lack of money take everything with you throw out on the, the, you know, the sea of forgetness. Take out on the sea of forgetness. Take off, take off to the, to the, you know, out of my life. Yes, take everything out of my life that I don't need anymore. I don't want anymore. It's, it's been a stone over my life. It's been a stone in my life. So let it go. Let it go. So the new year will be fantastic. It's not going to be a very easy year, okay? Because it's a year of preparation for 2020. So 2020 is going to be the year of beauty. So Take advantage of this 2019 to bury on the ground everything that is not serve you anymore. Everything that is, is you know, is stopping you to achieve your aims. Is stopping you to achieve what you are here to do as a light worker. And embrace the new. Okay, it's gonna be a year of banishing everything that you don't need anymore. So take the advantage of the first day of the year and start to banish everything that doesn't serve you anymore. Doesn't serve you, go off, you know, my back. <laughs> yeah, that is my intention also, wisdom to do everything in the right time, because there is a right time for everything, okay? Yes, sometimes you wanna throw <laughs> something that's not supposed to be thrown away yet. Probably situations in your life has to take, you know, some time to go. And you have to be wise to do it in the right time, okay? Yes, I have some situations in my life that uh, I know I probably have to force it to go. <laughs> but it has to be in the right time, in the right time. And that's what I'm asking for wisdom. So I can do it in the right time, in the right moment. Okay. Um, I'm planning to do a uh, last video on Thirst First on one of my forests and I'm gonna prepare something okay so to probably give you some ideas how to do something I'm preparing something it's in my head from uh, you know from some days already how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna go to a forest before the the darkness come too much you know, about
probably about four o'clock I will be going to my favorite place one of my favorite places and I'm going to do a ritual and um, you know probably I'm going to burn some you know situations that I want the foam the winnie moon to take with them uh, with the you know of the energy of the night so yes I'm gonna probably do some you know take about three candles and uh, one of my play my um, metal thing that I do some uh, banishments so I'm gonna take it and with about three candles in and I'm gonna burn some papers in there so I can start you know with an positive thinking to face the challenges of 2019. <laughs> okay, God bless you, keep you safe, and I hope this video can help you to have some ideas. And here, my candle is still burning. It's going to be until tomorrow, because there's a lot to go still. So, yes, there is nice candles. You can buy nice candles to do it. And it's something that is very good for you to do on 31st, okay? Let's do it. I, I'm going to have an, another one on 31st on the, you know, the transition of 2018 to 2019. I'm going to have another candle here burning and another one on that other tree and another one on the other tree here. So I'm going to have three running on my front garden uh, for the, you know, transition of New Year's Eve. Okay, love, God bless you. Keep you safe and muse, okay? Bye bye. Thank you for watching and uh, thank you for following me. Okay, bye bye.